Hey guys and welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video I'm going to be looking at my top 5 racing games on Avercade according to myself. Top 5 racing slash driving games that I think are the best examples on our platform on Evercade. Um, sadly, there isn't actually an awful lot of driving racing games on Evercade. Hopefully that will change at some point. Um, but what I've chosen is my five favourites, not ranked in any way. Well, maybe one is, but without further ado, let's get started and let's have a look at my top five picks. Okay, first pick is Racing uh, Fever from Pico Collection 2. Um, and this is a Game Boy Advance game, which I really enjoyed. It's definitely one of those kind of reaction style racing games. It's very straightforward. It's almost very arcadey. We just jump straight into it and you just proceed. You need to win each race to proceed on to the next one. Um, there are different uh, speeds. Of, you can obviously choose different cars which have different speeds. Um, but I'm not sure the faster ones really help you because you need really quick uh, reaction times, which I haven't really shown in this video. It's actually quite tricky to record footage and try and concentrate this at the same time. Time. Um, almost completely impossible actually. But anyway, I quite enjoyed this game, it's really good fun. I just kind of wished it had a map or even had some kind of function where you could actually zoom out so you can actually see the tracks a little bit better. And it was a little bit annoying when you collide with the other cars, but once you get to gist with it and you get used to it, it's actually really good fun to play. And I quite enjoyed this one. It's not the best example of a racing game, um, but given the fact we're limited to the racing games, this one definitely stuck out and I definitely enjoyed playing it when it was released on Pico Collection Okay, next up, still on Pico Collection 2, it's Top Racer 2, um, which is obviously the sequel to Top Racer, which we also have on Pico Collection 1, but this is definitely the better game. There's more variety, there's more choice, there's more settings, there's a lot more depth to it, um, and this was also uh, known as Top Gear um, as well, which, for obvious reasons, the name was changed. Um, ideally for us, we would really love the Lotus Turbo Challenge games. I think it was the same company that made the Top Racer games, or same people involved. Um, but ideally we'd love those Lotus Turbo Challenge games. It doesn't really matter what versions, Mega versions, C64 version or the Mega Drive version that was out there, they were all fantastic and I love playing them. However, at present all we can hope for right now is to play Top Racer 2, which is actually really, really good fun. It's quite hard right enough, you need to utilise your nitros through each um, sort of level in, in race. You've got five laps in this race for example, um, and I think you have about maybe five nitros that you can take advantage of but the more nitro you use the more fuel you use and then you need to strate strategically put in a, a pit stop at some point and um, because you'll run out of fuel and you'll never make the end of the race and um, it maybe doesn't really come into play at the, the first race but if, as you go through you definitely need to pit um, and try to sort of balance that and try and win the races is very tough indeed but it's very good and there's obviously if you, you played the Lotus Turbo Challenge games you'll notice some um, similar uh, similarities with the sort of controls, some of the sounds as well. But yeah, it's a decent game. Um, but yeah, just we still sort of cry out of hope for Lotus Turbo Challenge, please. I doubt we'll ever see it due to the licensing, but you never know.
So my next choice is Pit Stop 2 from the C64 collection 2. Um, I think this is an absolutely fantastic game and it's possibly got a lot more depth to the game than you probably think when you're playing it. It initially feels kind of like a pole position style game but it's a lot more in depth than that. You've got a few different um, options here, you've got different tracks, you get different number of laps you can choose and the level of difficulty. But this a tricky part here is trying to avoid damage, keep an eye on your fuel as well and obviously your tyre uh, wear. If it goes, uh, your tyres go, you get too much damage, you will end up crashing out and you will um, obviously not finish, you will DNF so to speak. Um, however, obviously the point of this game is pit stops, so if you see too much damage, you're running out of fuel, you need to hit that pit stop. Uh, and then you, c you can actually control the guys in the pit stop. It's actually quite tricky to control the guys. You can change um, the tyres that you need be and obviously you can refuel the car as well, which is kind of fun. It's quite tricky to get used to, but this is a really, really good game. I love the fact there's a map there as well, and it seems really, really accurate as well when you're going around um, the track here. It's fantastic. Okay, my next choice is Radical Bikers on the recent Pico Collection 3 cartridge um, and I think this is a brilliant little game and it's one of those games that was never released um, so it's something of a, a sort of exclusive so to speak on the Evercade which is fantastic. You've got a few options, you've got um, a race where you race against three other competitors or you can do the arcade mode where you're supposedly delivering a pizza or something. But I really enjoyed it, it's actually really quite addictive to play through. Um, the further you get it does get really, really tough though. Um, as you can see here when we get to race 3 I'm just absolutely struggling like crazy. Um, I think as soon as you make a mistake you fall behind and it's really hard to uh, sort of get some momentum and get back into the race. But it's a fantastic, very addictive game um, and it's great that we've got this on Evercade. <laughs>
So my final choice and definitely my pick as the best driving racing game on Evercade, it's World Rally from the Gaelco Arcade 1 cart. I think this game is absolutely brilliant, really addictive. Um, and interestingly enough, I'd never played it before until it came on an Evercade cart, which for me is probably one of the good things about Evercade, they're discovering some great games that you'd never actually played before. Um, and this one is absolutely brilliant for me, really enjoyed it, very addictive, great little graphics, great handling. It's a kind of a reaction style driving racing game, um, but thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and interestingly, we do have World Rally 2 on the Gat Elko Arcade 2 collection, um, but I never really got into it the same. I don't really know why, because it is pretty much more of the same, but I really found myself uh, enjoying World Rally, the first game, so much more, and I've played this so much more than any other driving racing game on Evercade. Um, well, fingers crossed we get more driving racing games, because I don't think there is enough. We really have a massive shortage um, of those type of games. Hopefully we'll see some. I'd love to see some of the PlayStation era driving games um, on Evercade. Sometimes it's obviously tough because of the licenses. We obviously can't get like Formula 1 games or something that involves um, licensing like that and driver names, that kind of thing. So, not sure what we could ever get. Might be something I might look into at some point. Um, in the future. But anyway guys, thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think, what's your favourite racing games on Evercade. Thanks again for watching, catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Ready? Three, two, one, go!